What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, just wanted to say I'm gonna be uploading actually quite a bit. If you have any videos that like you're stuck on a certain setup or really want to see a setup for, tell me everything in specific. What you want to see it in the comments because I'm gonna be reading all that stuff as I've got some time to make videos at the moment and I'd really like to do that now that I actually have a recording studio to do it in. Uh, other than that, uh, not much new has happened. Um, I'm shout mod which is pretty cool. That's pretty much it though. Um, other than that, let's get into the video. Um, yeah. So this works uh, non-sacrificed, sacrificed, and the second sacrificed. Uh, I think I said second sacrificed twice. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm too lazy to do another take on this video. This is probably my third or fourth um, because I want to get it right and I'm too lazy to edit everything 10 times. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the money giver um, we just want to do simple old Union Mine with Nature's Grip because it'll give you enough for a decent amount of items. Preferably place multiple Uniums. Uh, I like to put two or three. Um, one is just fine though. Now what we're going to do is in this corner of the base, we want to put down two um, Newtoniums and then we're going to place down a Big Bertha under each one. Just in case anyone's curious, uh, the reason that the base is this small and why I cut off all this extra like length is because this is how big the non-executive and non-sacrificed, like no sacrifices bases look. And I just wanted to make it obvious to everybody that this is the one we're using. It also won't use any UC. Um, so you're gonna be using the shop teleporters for this. And we're actually gonna go ahead and put this over here. Now on the other side of the base, you want to put this on the left side. I kind of like to lay everything like this, put this on the right, put this on the left, because we need to make the ores actually turn uh, and they'll be turning right. Now what we're going to do is, this is going to be kind of annoying, but we're going to get an astral. Uh, this is going to be annoying because I need to make it fit different than the way we built it, because we built it with a different sized base. We're going to do ancient temple uh i think azure and then quantum uh, quantum war pointer there we go okay so we got those uh those down good so far on all that all right now we're gonna do the catalyst clockwork the Atlantic Monolith. And then we're also going to put the Mineral Wheel. All right, we're gonna see if we could fit all of this. But Banana Split, the Pizza Blaster. Uh, we're, we're not gonna be able to fit the third item that I wanted to put in like this little group of three. Uh, we're gonna put a large converter ramp, a green tea latte, a vortex chamber. It might not fit, let's see. So yeah, no, it doesn't fit. We're gonna, we're gonna temporarily remove banana split, put that off to the side. Um, we're gonna put vortex just like this. And then Big Bertha um, for after the Tesla, just like that. Because it's not going to count the first time, as you see, it's blinking. But after it goes through the Tesla, it'll work because those. Um, the reason we do those is those are more consistent than this one. So this one's like a 50-50 for after the Tesla. Either way, put the banana split there. Then we're going to do a plasma uh, scanner. Gate of Eclipse, if we can fit it. Even if not, you don't need it. This is one of the few items you could skip over. Uh, plasma Iron Polishers from the shop. They're really cheap. And then we're going to put a teleporter over here. A blue one. Um, other than this, that's pretty much everything. We're going to get three orbital upgraders as well. I usually put them right here. Um, that's pretty much all of that for that side. Um, oh, actually, wait, we could put the Tesla line stuff here. So we're going to do cooling chamber. Uh, 
let's save. No, we can put it here. Do toxic waste disposal. And then wild spore. Now, get your blue teleporter receiver and put it right here. We're going to put a Tesla resetter. That's a refeeder. Uh, put a Tesla resetter right here. A large conveyor ramp, not the converter. You don't want to do that. We're going to put a replicator right next to it. Just like this. Two of them. Some raised mini conveyors going towards the back. Uh, work. Actually, you don't need those. You could take those out. Just need the just need the the original ones. And then a pink teleporter sender. A conveyor. Any conveyor will do. Um, I personally just do basic because it's easy, it's simple. And then for simplicity, we're going to do Sage Rudy Mirror, uh, so then you don't have to click for Dark Magic, and you'll still get DD every time. Uh, we got to wait for the ores to come through, though, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. UD. Um, I think it gives DD with the... I know I was getting DD, unless it didn't add up right. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, yeah, no, I was, uh, I was just being dumb. It's because we were just sitting here for like 30 minutes while this ran, and that's how I got so much GD. Also, I think we tried with blasters at one point, but it didn't. we didn't need them. So that's the reason I have so much DD. But yeah, you'll get UD, um, but enough to get consistent DD. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how you'll get to Life of Thousand in a day. It's not a really brutal setup, considering you could even remove Gate of Eclipse and you'll still get enough to rebirth uh, at life 1k. So this just won't work much long after 1k. Uh, that's the only issue. But I'm going to do a life 1k through like 4 or 5k-ish. Uh, I don't know if I can do a 1k through 10k without having to upgrade your setup. But we'll see. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the no music in the video. I just wanted to keep this one quiet. And uh, yeah, take care.